Hey there. Uh, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, if you were, saw the video last week, I started some seeds um, that have a hard time germinating um, a, a long time and this kind of speeds up the process a little bit. So I put um, some leek seeds and some red pepper seeds and green onion seeds in paper towels and I put them in a baggie and then I put them in my grow um, lights and warmer and in a week look what's happened we've got some germination on our seeds here <clears throat> so you've got to quickly um, get them off of the paper towels because then they'll start growing into the paper towels so I'm going to gently take these little seedlings and put them in the so I'm going to try to do it with my fingers. I'm pretty pretty gentle. I don't want to break the the root off. Uh, oh, that one that one broke off. So I'm putting them gently in there, in some moistened soil. Leeks are notorious for um, not starting very well, so I'm I'm very confident, or hopefully, with this process. It's the first time I'm starting this process that I've done this, so um, <laughs> here's hoping that it'll turn out well. Kind of tease them out of the paper towel, they're getting stuck in there already. That's the nice thing about doing this way if you had, you know, put broadcasted a bunch of seeds on here, you might not have got like. I don't know how many the germination rate here is, maybe, I don't know, 60% maybe. So then you're not kind of wasting a lot of precious space in your, in your grow. I'm going to put these back in the ones that aren't germinated and see if just a, you know, a couple more days might make a difference and I can always add it to this um, later. Oh, that one broke. Look. Yeah, I don't think I have many more so I'm just going to fold this back over again, put it back in the bag and we'll see them in a couple, in another few days if any of them germinate. I don't close it up all the way so it does get some light and then uh, always mark what they are. So these are leeks 
And today is what, 16th, I think? Mm -hmm. um, that I put them in here. So I will show you what I've got going over here. So last week I started green onions and I did the same thing as I'm doing with the leeks. So you can see that they're, um, they're starting in, in this. And then once they're getting a little bit bigger, then I'll tease them out and put them into a larger container. So, but last week I started the tomatoes, remember? So I have, look at these ones. So these are San Marano tomatoes. And these are from my own collected seeds. My zebra seeds, zebra tomato seeds have not germinated as well. The ones that I bought, new ones, the grape tomatoes, they're starting to germinate, which is good. I was hoping, was kind of wondering. Um, this one, oh, the Roma, Romas are doing wonderful. And this is a Paul Robeson one. These are my own seeds. These are my own seeds. Um, but these are probably a year old. I'm not sure. Did we have the Paul Robeson last no. year? I don't think so. So these are, so hopefully, I'll, but it looks like I've got a bunch of plants. So, I mean, I don't need that many plants that like those tomatoes. I don't know. We're not going to plant all those tomatoes. This is the Wonderberry and the eggplant. I've got one little eggplant <laughs> that has germinated. So I'm still waiting on this germination. Um, and then I also started some microgreens. Um, so this is for our own use uh, to be cutting up and using yeah on uh, so these are arugula um, ones and they yeah probably in a week or so we can probably cut them and then we can put them on sandwiches and so on um, and uh, so they're doing they're doing well too I will so what I have set up here so I've got the the grow lights here um, and I've covered it, so we've got a big window there, so I've covered, so they get some lights with some clear plastic in the back. And then I've got some black plastic garbage bags around the sides and the bottom. And then what I have is, uh, we had chickens and uh, have chickens, but we don't need this anymore, the, the heater for um, cold nights and when they were in the brooder. So I have that kind of like a heat plate and that's giving enough heat here and the lights give some heat as well too um, in there and it and then all the plastic around it keeps the um, humidity in there and so it keep that covered and I usually turn it on in the morning when I go out for the chickens at probably about seven o'clock right now after the chime change and then we turn it off at about 11 o'clock at night so they get yeah maybe about six or seven hours that they're in the dark and then the rest of they get um, full light so um, now I've got some red pepper seeds here um, that looks like they germinated so I'm going to put them in a Uh, in the pot as well, or in some soil, and we'll get that going. So I've got some moistened seed starting soil that I'm going to put in the bottom here. I do have a soil blocker, but they're not quite ready for that when I'm ready for them to, when they've got their kind of true leaves, that'll be in about, um, yeah, when they get two or three of their true leaves and good root system, then I will probably change them, probably change them over to soil blocks. Um, and I also have your regular 
train yeah uh, seeding pots like um, or whatever too so depending on the plants I don't want to transplant them too many times so um, once I have some good tomatoes that I will take the strongest ones and then I'll put them right away into the into the container that would they will probably stay in till they go into the garden um, I'd rather that than than uh, transplanting them you know a couple more times as they grow I mean they may if they're really strong and like they really do well then I may uh, actually um, put them in like four inch pots or something like that too if, if we haven't planted them but they're going into the high tunnels so we do have some uh, we do have some uh, we're gonna be in there early so so yeah these are these are the red pepper ones so these are kind of I'm, I'm really excited about that because peppers generally take a long time to germinate so seeing this is great uh, I'm gonna put them in here I'm trying to space them out a little bit um, so they've got a chance to grow in here for a while Down. Okay, wasn't sure. And I'll probably, I don't know if I will. Seems to be a good germination. I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't know how many plants. We tomatoes. We planted probably about fifty plants of different varieties. Um, in there so um, that's why there's probably 50 seeds germinated there already and uh, I came across <laughs> some more tomato seeds that I forgot last week so I've got some beef eater ones that I had saved um, tomatoes so I'd like to plant those out today so they can get on their way of germination as well and uh, these are all red pepper ones. I love red pepper. I mean, I do you really know a difference with the red pepper taste to the green pepper? I mean, I generally don't. Maybe I don't have a discerning palate that way, but um, that's uh, the only thing as, a, as an artist that I would say is they give some color to your otherwise sometimes boring stuff that your your salads and stuff so it's not all green green but it does well so, so some people like to do this and use tweezers um, I just realized that I don't know where our tweezers are so they are I'm just doing this by hand and seems to be doing okay. <clears throat> um, they're not too far gone in that they're not stuck so well in the paper towel like they were in the leaks. It, that was uh, okay. So I've got another one here. So I think I'm just going to fill up. This. I think that that's plenty of red peppers. I don't know, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times one, two, three, four, five. And <coughs> in this small space, I've already got 40. So, I mean, oh, look at this one. Look at that. Look at that germination. Wow. Now, some of these starts I probably will give to my daughter-in-law and, and her mom. They have gardens as well, so then they don't have to be buying plants. And they can, they can, uh, they can take some of my plants. Oh, that one's not. Oh, 
whole bunch there, bunch together. So I'm excited that this actually, because this is the first time I've done it, that this actually works, this paper towel method. And now I don't have any hot peppers that I've started because I'm not a real um, spicy person. I may have a spicy personality, <laughs> but I don't like spicy on my palate too much. So, um, but there are, my husband loves um, spicy things. So sometimes um, I buy this um, hot, yeah, it's kind of like a hot sauce, but it's at like a um, hot pepper salsa um, from Indonesia. And uh, it's called uh, Sambal Ulek. And so they get to sprinkle that on their stuff when they want to have the spicy stuff going on. So wow, this got yeah, this is this is great. So I don't have to start any more red peppers, that's for sure, I think. I think we're good. I think we're good. And uh, yeah, that seems pretty even. And we will. So, yeah, thank you, seedlings. And the rest I will have to discard. I will discard. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a bit of light on the top just to give them a little bit of a cover. place they go so here they are <laughs> okay so there were some green peppers look at this. and I did find some of my own green pepper seeds so I'm going to try to um, put those on paper towels now because here There's not too much germination yet on these ones. So I'm going to keep those in there then. And I'm gonna do another sheet. this one and I'll do some Did my other one cut off then? Hmm? Did my other one cut off then? I don't know, I haven't checked yet. Oh you haven't put, you haven't done it? No. So I've got petunia seeds here. Look at they are so 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 small. So that's why it's good to just 
broadcast them over your soil and because you can barely see them. Like this is, I have no idea where these are going to be. This is like little pieces of sand. <laughs> but who knows? Okay, so that is petunia, vining petunia. So they're for my, my hanging baskets. And it's March 
We planted some, I planted some hydrangeas. I got a good deal in the fall when they're on sale, planted them. They look like they've come through the winter, we'll see. And uh, yeah, um, so I'm gonna kind of start to get a garden around those hydrangeas and go out from there because they're in the middle of the front of the house. So um, uh, maybe it's not very <clears throat> planned out as usual, but um, I'm gonna probably get some other um, ewes and different larger larger plants as well too um, when I can find a good deal on them or someone that wants to share them from their gardens that um, they're pruning out. So that's, uh, yeah, it all takes time and uh, yeah, hopefully I've got a lot of time to enjoy them. Um, otherwise, as I said, our farm, East Marsh Shakers, is, uh, uh, we started this two acres for a legacy for our children. So um, what we're starting with our gardens, our chickens, the house itself, how it operates with solar power and all this kind of stuff, we're hopefully, yeah, we're going to leave them a legacy um, for our children and our grandchildren. And uh, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll enjoy it while we can. Okay, one more, nasturtiums. Uh, Um, oh, they're, they're not small at all. They're just... So, <clears throat> if they're bigger ones like this, you probably want to put them into the dirt and at least this underneath the size that they, um, that they are. So, you know, put it, putting them in about a quarter inch, I'm going to just put them in so I can put them in nicely. Now the nasturtiums are going to go in the greenhouse or the hoop house and they're going to go around the I believe the tomatoes or the green peppers and they reduce the um, bug population, the aphids there are repellent for uh, for the plants. So there we go got a nice there so so I put them in they they're pretty I mean they're pretty plants they're kind of viney so they're gonna go go on the on the ground around the tomatoes and uh, yeah then they also are good for for taking away the pests so Master. Okay, so that about wraps up my planting for my planting seeds or starting seeds for this week. Um, and I'll give you a prize of our how things are growing. And uh, we'll see you next week, and I'll show you how they've done. Oh, I know what I forgot. So I left them all. i got to cover them up a little bit here. Oh, i got coffee delivery. Excellent. Thank you. Where do you want it? Uh, just right here is great. Thank you.
So I'm not going to put the perlite on because I'm going to cover. I'm covering it with dirt, so um, it's getting its little bit of covering there. Um, so they'll germinate in the dark under the cover of the soil, and uh, so I'll just recap, and I'll show you. You can see in there, covered them all, and then the ones that have their own lids and so on. And then here, up above, have the microgreens and the other ones that are already sprouted. So they're just going to be under grow lights. Anyways. Thanks for joining me this morning at East Marsh Shakers, and we'll see you next week. Take care.